Where am I? What sorcerer's abode is this? Aneska. Who is that? A vampire! Kill him! Back off, bloodsucker! I'm sending you to hell! Journal entry, August 1999. The Prague excavation is finally on schedule. The kindred resting places have finally yielded up their secrets. We've gotten the crates of Earth to London without trouble and customs. Dr. Alasius is finally pleased with us, after giving us hell for two years. Oops. Look how all the world hath aged, and I have aged too. I feel old and drained, and weathered as all these relics. Well then. I'm not trying to set me on fire. Journal entry October 1999. We've been driven off the dig. Damn Zemitsi. We've lost half our forces. Back to England to regroup. Still, Dr. Alatius is oddly optimistic. He reckons that the ancient vampire we found will be the key to carrying on a holy crusade. I want to douse the undead wretch with petrol and strike a match to it. But the doctor knows best. From the journal of Father Leo Wallacius, Society of Leopold. Today, plunged into Visserard Castle with three fire teams of expensive mercenaries, fully expecting to find a hive of Zenitsi cultists. Imagine our surprise when we found the ruins deserted. Deserted and utterly intact. This, despite the fact that several of Vukadlak's faithful followers survive the Night of Fire and seek to resurrect their lord. This is proof that God favors me above all others. The fall of Visserad Castle from an unknown source, probably kindred. Smitsi conspire against not just the other clans, but against the antediluvians and Cain himself, and against God. In an ultimate battle, they dare to hope to win. In their monstrous hubris, they see themselves as the true masters of all kindred and of all ancient power. In the last days after the deluge, the ancient Smitsi Vukodlak gathered demonic power by defiling all that was good and pure. He posed a threat to the ancient order of Canaanites and was cast into deep torpor. But his loyal Smitsi followers conserved his power for centuries and sought to resurrect their dread lord. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, September 1999. Today we begin our excavation of Visserad Castle in earnest. We had better find a lot of valuable artifacts and more. This is costing me a fortune. Some large carved stones are proving very difficult to break through. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. October 1999. Damn! The Zamitsi drove us off my excavation! Killed half my men! We barely got away with the artifacts we uncovered. I cannot believe the Lord allowed this travesty! Friar Ignatius insists that the large carved stones over the ruins were protective blessings placed after the fall of Visserad Castle by persons unknown. He maintains that the Zemitsi could freely pillage the ruins once we broke through the wards. I dislike his holier-than-thou attitude and don't miss him very much, though he was useful in finding the site of the ruin. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of the Old. God has blessed me with my greatest prize. An ancient vampire still sleeping in deep torpor. He's a blaspheming heretic who wears the red cross of a crusader to mock all that is holy. I'll enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. I've shipped him to my estate where I'll bind him and fatten him on fresh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zamitsi, who dared to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine. I know little about them, 
except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London. And from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Savart. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. Hello, filthy little kindred. I am Father Leo Alatius. And I have killed bloodsuckers like you for two hundred years. I have no wish to fight thee. Then give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. Early generation kindred. Vintage 12th century. 1140. A good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place. But I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. You can never fit into this world. You have no one. You are nothing. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. I did not endure for 800 years to die at thy behest. <laughs> <laughs> From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. These damned Zemitsi are proving very hard to find, since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments untraceable. Still, once the blood of my sleeping vampire courses through my veins, I'll find them and crush the sleeping Vukodlak. Then, with the blood of Vukodlak, in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. Of course, I don't mean all vampires. I'll require a well-maintained flock of imprisoned vampires to keep me supplied with blood. And I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. This will take time, but I have all the time in the world. My first 300 years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the Earth! Tomorrow we try to feed the vampire without awakening him. Now is all my reason thrown down. Surely my sleep hath made me mad, for if I'm yet sane, then the world has become a lunatic asylum. Towers of glass loom over the tallest cathedral spires. Juggernauts of steel hurtle through the streets of London. The cobbled Roman roads which once I walked as a young crusader are now fused into a single ribbon of black stone. And those roads are clogged with night-walking Londoners, heedless of the danger from the vampires among them. Are they so emboldened by the phantom torches which pierce the night and stab my eyes? Surely, my world has died, and all I love lies buried with it. My garments have moldered away with age, as my body would have, were I not one of the damned. I cannot wander the streets clad thus. I have need of suitable garments. Boy, you need a lot more than some new clothes, you freak. You need a hand over your wallet. I know not thy language, but thy intent is clear from the mask that obscures thy eyes. Thou art a common cut purse. What? What's this about a purse? Shut up and give me your money. I shall give thee my blade instead. Yeah! Are you crazy? Ow! Oh, uh, please don't hurt me. Uh, take my gym bag, please. You, you need clothes, right? I got clothes, so you take them. Just don't hurt me. I thank thee for this gift. Go forth, and steal no more. Uh, right. Okay, I'm gone. We have a wide selection of Vitae for your dining pleasure. We have blue-collar brews, white-collar cocktails, and pink-collar daiquiris. We've got young blood, old blood, tainted blood, and blue blood. We've got innocence, we've got experience, uptown, downtown, Park Avenue matrons, and Bowery wine. Our special of the day, is a succulent, free-range virgin, fresh off the bus from Iowa, free of additives and preservatives. 
you'll find it a tart blend with a crisp and refreshing afterlife. Bottoms up! Ah! Blood's a bit diluted here, eh? What, you fresh out of the grave? Newly embraced? You look it, with that deer in the headlights look pasted on your gob. Do not presume to mock me, whelp. I am far older than thou knowest, and have no patience for the likes of thee. Well, well, well. Oi! Barkeep! Get this antique bloodsucker a swig of vitae, courtesy of Pink of Clan Brugia. Don't water it down, you mortal worm. This'll put some color back in your cheeks. Air of the bat that bit you. <laughs> thou art Brugia? Art thou a Promethean? Ha! <laughs> you must be a fossil! The Prometheans are ancient history. Those nutters are long dead, along with their utopian ideals. <laughs> what a load of bad shit that was! What's your name, you crusty old relic? Forgive me, I am Christoph Romuald. Oh, Christoph Romuald. Christoph Romuald, once of the Order of the Sword Brethren, once a Promethean Brugia, and now... Now I know not what. Weary. Damned, I can't help. But no one is alone with old Pink around. Especially not a fellow Brugia. Here's to Christoph, the last of the Prometheans. Welcome to the new world, Squire. Hope you like what we've done with the place. So, where will you be creating your Promethean paradise on Earth, Squire? All I wanted was to be with my Ineska. <laughs> a bit of crumpet, eh? I've heard of worse paradises, no mistake. But Feranesco was taken as ghoul by that Zemitsi monster Vukudlak. After such horrors as I have endured, after losing so much, I awake to find I have finally lost all. Oh, for I have lost her. Yeah, not so fast, Squire. There's two ways your bird might be around. Ghouls can live as long as us legs. Of course, you need a constant supply of some meatsy blood, or she'll fall apart faster than Thatcher's reforms. And if one of them fiends embraced her, she'd be around today as one of us. Well, as a meatsy. Thou dost compound my misery. I dare not hope such a thing. It would be a curse if Farinesca lived in such a state for a thousand years. Take it from old Pink. Anything's better than the quiet of the grave. There's hope even for us licks. We can climb the path to the summit. Or, or some such. Thou art on the road of humanitas? Um, something like that. Thou speakest true. Should Ineska have been preserved for lo these many centuries, I shall seek after her. Whether she is ghoul to that monster, Vukudlak, or one of his vampires, I shall find her. Find her and destroy him. He will pay in angry blood. And if I find only her grave, I shall... I shall be exceedingly glad for her soul. Rare thing, such passion in licks. Bloodless pack of cowards these days. Tell you what, I'll help you find this bird, Ineska. I hate the Zumitsis too. I could enjoy sinking me fangs into a fiend or two. Hmm. Lord Pink, thou art honorable. I accept thy kindly offer. You need me to tell you what's what. The camera really have a million little rules. Wipe yourself with the wrong hand, and these licks will call down the justicars on you. What? Nothing. Just a joke. Thou art unlike the vampires of my world, for most only assisted me for their personal gain. <laughs> well, what's left of us, Brugia, gotta stick together. Even if you are a moldy old fossil. So, where did you last see this bird of yours? I last beheld Anezka before the collapse of the Zemitsi stronghold in Prague. I have since learned that the Zemitsi have traveled from thence to London, 
and by sea to a land west of London called New York. Perhaps this New York lies within Ireland. <laughs> no, ever since the famine, Ireland lies within New York. <laughs> there are isles west of Ireland? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, something like that. Little place called America. The United States thereof. United States. An auspicious name. For I wish my own state reunited. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Perhaps in New York shall we find a criminal named Giovanni. Giovanni? They ain't one guy. They're a whole clan. A whole clan of criminals. They snacked on old Cappadocius and sucked down all his juice. The entire Cappadocian clan is gone. And the Giovanni have their power. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The Cappadocian clan seemed oddly gullible and ripe for domination by schemers even in my day. What became of the Brugia? <laughs> what hasn't? The Brugia are all kissed and made up with the Ventru now, in one big happy family called the Camarilla. The Toreador, the Gangrel, the Nosferatu, the Looney Malkavians, even the Tremere are bosom buddies. Out of fear of Gehenna, mostly. Our real enemy is the Sabbat. Made up of the Sumitsi, the Masambra, and a pack of the most vicious licks in the world. I don't care for the snobs of the Camarilla any more than the next lick. But I don't want to dig my way out of a bloody grave. That's what the Sabbat do to you. Beat you to the brink of death, then bury you. When you start starving, you claw your way to the surface, the madness killing any bit of humanity in you. So I work with the Camarilla against the Sabbat. My past is dead, and I am no longer upon servicing the whims of the elders in their jihad. It ain't good to be alone out there. It helps to have a gang at your back. Especially if you want to find this Ineska. I can't help you find the Giovanni, but I can help you find out about any bootleg shipping. The filthy Setites run all the bootleg shipping in London. I know a Setite knocking shop on the East End. Now let's put the boot into some snakes, but watch yourself. The Setites are a real bad seed. Knocking shop? <laughs> I know you had them in your day, Chris. Even a geezer like you can't be older than the world's oldest profession. <laughs> now come on, we're gonna need some supplies. You can sell some of that old junk and get some real weapons. We require an armorer and an alchemist. Uh, something like that. <laughs> um, how about you do not slaughter everyone? Uh, what? Dude? I think we overstayed our hello. All these horseless carriages and electric lights must be too much for your little medieval mind, eh, Chrissy? I have witnessed the perverse experiments of the Tremere, clay that walks like a man, and spirits of the dead. Lights and wagons have no power to enthrall me. Ah, shut up. Who asked you? You'll need me if you want to survive in this world. Hail and well met, Keeper of the Curio Shop. I am Kristoff. Well, well, well. What have we here? More than you can handle. Thy shop displays items of great import. We would examine thy wares. Very well, then. Sumner Montague at your service. I am somewhat honored to receive such distinguished guests. Or maybe you're quaking in your slippers, you great poof. Do not test me, blood drinker. I don't think you're quite up to it. Oi! Come on, then! Peace. We mean thee no harm, Sumner Montague. Perhaps you need to keep your coterie on a tighter leash. Perhaps. Now let us see thy wares. Of course. My sanctum is at your disposal, for the time being. What about selling your antique locket? That'll bring a pretty penny. No, this is not for sale. I should bring you up to date on the modern world, Christoph. Let's see. Against all odds, 
Peddlers and money changers defeated the priests and the nobles, so now merchants rule the world. Peasants rule themselves by voting on who gets to be king in his court. And some people still believe the world was created in seven days, even though men have walked on the moon. The Lord completed the world in six days, and that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. Unfortunately, no. Oof, I'm damned thirsty. I could go for a lick stick. Lick stick? A mortal. Feed in, you stupid get. We shall not take the lives of those we feed upon. Oh, bugger off. What do you care about the juice bags anyway? <coughs> As long as we have greater power, we have an obligation to keep them under our protection. You're a fat lot of fun, aren't you? It is important. Okay, okay, no killing when I feed Christ. We need to get you some real weapons. Those ancient artifacts ain't gonna do shit against licks with guns. You need to sell some junk. I bet that necklace would fetch a tidy sum. Never. Oh, terribly sorry, your lordship. Just trying to save your blood-sucking eye, is all. What? What do you want? All right, let's head over to the underground. The Setite brothels over by the docks in an abandoned theater. Come on. I plan to rack up a few set-eyed skins before the night's over. Brace that tender art of yours, Chris. These damn set-eyed snakes ghoul the working girls and boys and sell them to mortals and kindred alike. Kindred pay to feed on the poor harlots, and the set feed on the mortal customers. The juice bags leave tired, but they never suspect a thing. Cozy as you please. The mistress of the place is a satite called Lucretia. She sells some of their ghoul slaves to the Sabat in America and runs drugs and weapons through those cargo ships of yours. Maybe she's picking up some extra cash moving mud for the fiend. Hey boys, I've got what you want. Love, you don't even know what I want. Fresh blood. I'll take it back. I guess you do know after all. Don't kill me! I'm not one of the Setites. I'm from Clan Toriador. Come upstairs. Prove it. I'll flush Who those cry, white cry, cheeks. Cry. Uh, you mean the American band Cry Cry Cry? Aren't they that acoustic trio that even though they're all songwriters only does covers of songs by other groups and performs the most depressing? Enough! She's a Tory, all right. Please protect me. I'll help you with whatever you need. We offer protection even if you can do nothing to help us. Oh, thank you. Thank you for freeing me. I've been trapped in that damn brothel for nearly a year. I was kidnapped by a handsome Sedite who came to see me sing in a club. The snakes wanted you to give the mortals some bloody good fun, eh? Slip Come upstairs. I'll oh, flush kiss, those white you? cheeks. Most mortals love the delirium that comes from being a blood donor to a vampire. Especially the way I do it. Where is their leader? We have questions about illegal shipping. That would be Lucretia. She's horribly powerful. She lives in the Temple of Set below the brothel. I can't truly be free of her blood bond until she's dead. If anyone knows about shipping, it's her. She knows everything the Setites know. Great. How do we get to her? In the storage area. There's a locked door behind a cheesy-looking oh, stage backdrop of the Valley cheeks. of Kings. There must be some secret way to open the door, but I don't know what it is. Hey, Chris. Look at that old set gobbling up Osiris. Filthy snakes. Their worship of set is frightening. I've seen such horrible things. Levy. Is it you that assists these infidels? How sharp. And a serpent's tooth is an ungrateful child. I hate you. I hope they kill you. 
Nay, tell us of thy shipping routes and free Lily of the bonds of blood. Then we shall part in peace. No. No peace with the Setons. We kill them. Quiet, Lubbox. Where do you come from, little one? You sound ancient. And you look so young. So young. And so foolish. I give nothing. And you have yet to pay for killing my worshippers. Damn! She's not dead! What dost thou mean? She is as dead as any canine I have destroyed. Pink is right. I still feel the tug of the blood bond. She can't be killed because she's got no art. A lot of these damn snakes do that. They rip out their hearts and stuff them in a jug someplace safe. Then we must find Lucretia's heart. Mayhap we can bargain with it to secure the knowledge of the Prague shipments. Lucretia leaves the brothel a lot to go to a secret haven. I don't know where it is, but I've heard the guards talking about escorting her to the tower. What tower? The Bleeding Tower of London? I think so. Wow. The Tower of London. This place has gone downhill. I guess old Anne Boleyn ain't got much of an end for housekeeping. <laughs> a great evil has been done in this place. The walls cry out in a silent scream. I feel the presence of the dead. Let us hurry. I have no wish to meet the wraiths that walk this bloody tower. Behold. Lucretia's heart. A bloody heart. Yes! Let's stake it! No. We need it. Let us return to the Temple of Set. Mayhap Lucretia will be more agreeable now. What? Come this way. You may go down to the temple. Where your heart. Damn you! Damn you! Damn your wretched hides! We love you too, Kreisha. Now give me a good reason to put a stake right through your bloated blood pump. Lucretia, thou wilt free Lily from her blood bond. Very well. Lily, you're free to go. Yes. Now thou wilt tell us where we may find the Zemitsi, the Giovanni, and the contraband from Prague. I don't know about the Zemitsi or Giovanni. We just load ships. All I can tell you is that the next ship out is the Saint Magdalena. Hawk 23, laden with guns, heroin, emigrating Sabbath, and the sacred earth of Prague. Now give me the heart. And I'll let you leave in peace. Pink, thou shalt return her heart. No way! We have to check her info first. She could be lying. Nay, such a lie would cost her death. Maybe she knows you're a softy. We came here seeking knowledge of the shipments. We have that, so let us go. Okay. Here. Behold the power of Set! I 
shall destroy this heart and end forever the wickedness of this foul priestess. I told you we should not give the art to such a one as she. Free! I'm free of those revolting snakes! My blood bond is gone! All because of you, Kristoff. And you too, Pink. Ugh, I never knew the smog of London could smell so good! Whither wilt thou go, fair Lily? I have nowhere to go. I came to London from New York looking for my sire, Alexandra Ruthven. She disappeared three years ago. Maybe she was just tired of your whining. Kristoff, I owe you a bigger debt than I can pay. Thou hast done yeoman service. I discharge thee of all duty. I discharge your ass too. Bugger off! I'll gladly travel with you, Kristoff, and fight by your side, and do whatever I can for you. Oh, just what we need. Some moistened Toreador tart. This is a gents' club, Bruja only. You are most welcome to join us, Lily. Thank you, Kristoff. I like that very much. I'd love to go with you for as long as you'd have me. Yeah, I'm leader and I say no. I would be honored to have thee. But Toriador's strength may yet help us find my beloved Aneska and restore her to me. Oh, yeah. Anything you want, Kristoff. Oh. Normally I would call it cockbuck, but come on, dude, you just totally overeat blocked her. She's just about to jump your bones, and you're like, yeah, but I gotta jump in with my girlfriend. Derp guy. Nope, didn't even need to check shit after getting out of the. Werewolf trick. Hello, Bobby. Be British somewhere else. Smash your fucking skull. Probably a ship in here somewhere. Little ship. So it makes it in a cargo ship. Ah, there we go. Even behind the crates, how oh, evil. No, it's not. Help! Help! Stay back! This is between the cops and us. Dead Agent Thorn. The big bosses. Alessandro Giovanni. He's got to set up an FBI raid on Alessandro's warehouse. <clears throat> They'll find everything. The guns. The heroin. The Prague contraband. Everything. Please. I'll be damned. The cops are Interpol. What is this Interpol? Kind of an international police force. Look, I changed their IDs to look like us. Cool, huh? Might come in handy once we reach the Big Apple. The Tories finally pulling a weight. I could use someone like you. Special Agent 
Agent George Thorne, FBI. Let's see some ID now. You're late. Doesn't Interpol teach you to be on time? Good disguises. Or is that what everyone in Europe is wearing now? I'm just glad I don't have to work undercover. So what did you learn? The big boss is Alessandro Giovanni. Thou must, you must attack his warehouse. There you shall find weapons, opium, and the contraband of Prague. Good job. We've had our eye on Alessandro for a while. His warehouse is like a fortress, but our central computer recently cracked his security. We've got the access codes to his fortress safely stored in our secure offline database at FBI headquarters. Now we can raid the place before Alessandro can destroy the evidence. Thanks. Now make yourself scarce before someone sees you. Get back to Europe on the next ship. We shall join thy raid. Uh, thanks, but you've been compromised. We heard your cover got blown after your ship left London. Actually, I'm amazed you survived the trip. They put a hit on you and intended to kill you at sea. No, don't worry about the raid. We've got it under control. Now get lost. I must be a good influence on you, you old holy warrior. I got you lined to the coffers like a pro. I lied for Ineska, not thee. And what manner of beast is this central computer that it can besiege fortresses? Wow, but you've got a lot to learn. Well, time to find the local Lex and start calling in favors to get access to that FBI computer. He is coming. He will awaken and devour us all. Back off. This is an affair of the Nosferatu. This one was improperly made, and by our laws must be destroyed. Help me, please! There's a bot! I refuse to return, and now they seek to kill me! Thank you. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I am Samuel, of Clan Nosferatu. Locke, we couldn't figure that out from that sphincter you wear for a face. Be still. This is Pink, this is Lily, and I am Kristoff. Thank you. Thank all of you. Man, I should never have come to New York. This place is filthy with Sabbat. I was jumped by my own coterie who got turned to the Sabbat. I was sure I was worse than dead. The Sabbat are turning any vampire they find. They think the world will end this coming New Year's Day. When the calendar turns to the year 2000, they think some ancient evil will rise and kill all the antediluvian vampires. What a load of rot. Every baby lick knows it's the Antis who are going to eat us. Are you sure? That's what they said. I heard it a couple of times. Ah, you couldn't hear a thing out of those cauliflowers you got for ears. Nay, this is familiar to me. Perhaps wise Ekaterina hath awakened me to stop our ancient foe. I think pus bag here has infected your brain, Chris. I owe you all a life boon. I'll gladly join you and fight your enemies. Oi, oi, hold on. Who said we'd take you? This is a private club for proper ladies and gents only. Oh, shut up, Pink. I'll never work with a stinking nossy. Peace, Pink. I require allies. <sighs> you better pull your scrawny weight, Wrinkles. What can you do besides stink up the place? Well, Pink, I can help you keep your knuckles from dragging on the pavement. Oh, ha, ha. Samuel, aren't thou versed in the lore of the central computer? Uh, no. But I know someone who does. Dev No. He lives here in New York. He's a completely brilliant hacker. Oh, but he's no Kavian. Well, forget it then. Coward. Come on. Look. I'm gonna kick you right in your Sir Anthony Blunt if you call me that again. I just mean we ought to get someone who won't barf all over his keyboard and poke out his own eyes while we watch. Malkavian or not, we shall go to this dev now. I can see you never dealt with a Malkavian before. I shall learn. Samuel, take us hence. Huh? Hi, dev -no. These are my friends. Have you come from nowhere or from the air one? Dev Null, it's me, Samuel. I am not Dev Null. I am just a man of tick tock. Oh, okay, sure. I'm Samuel, remember? You are not Samuel. You are Samuel and a triune entity. <laughs> this triune entity is Kristoff, Pink, and Lily. Say hi to him. 
Hi, Chris. Or is it Maliki? I think. That's a my stupid name. Hi, Lilita. Mom's at the southern bar of clay. Delight to meet all you John Doe's and Jerry Doe's. Uh, what a gormless nutter. Let's get out of here. Bye. Don't use your knife, Kevin. I mean, Kabar. Or they'll rebuke ya. Hoo hoo. Yucka. <sighs> Actually, for him, this is pretty lucid. Dev, no. We need some help. I'm not Dev, no. I am a rock. I'm a rock. We seek thy aid in unearthing Giovanni lore from the FBI's central computer. Canst thou do such a thing? Uh, no. What a conquer. That's it. I'm leaving. Samuel, you worthless Nazi. Just wait, Pink. The site you mentioned is entirely cut off from outside access by use of a separate network backbone that connects the system across the country and prevents unauthorized access. <laughs> anyway, that's what Parr says. Oh. Okay. Handle with care. You have to slip this Mickey into their Campbell's chocolate fish soup of the sewers, huh? What? Their big ocean of data. Hmm? Then I can catch the codes in my net. <laughs> or my unnet. Or my unnet. It's rickety and uh, empty and waiting for temporary data from the NYPD. Or the MPD. I forget which. This is a data tap. We have to put it on the police computer and it'll beam their data to Deb Null. I am not Dev Null. I am just a lick. A smart a lick. <laughs> Where and shall we attach this data tap? Randomly. By chance! Or in the police sewers on FBI CC line number 204. Sounds easy. But then you have to get away. Free as a jay! Scott free! Hope you are loaded for bear. Or alligator. So you can set up my gator land. No glary network. I've heard that the sewers all around police headquarters are controlled by an unfriendly Nosferatu called the Underprince. He uses alligators against intruders. So take us to him. Um, no, I can't. He's a bot. Ah, stealth mission then. You're gonna trust this grinning loony? Rathfink is spooked by this mask of Cheshire whimsy? <laughs> Devno, we owe thee a boon. What dost thou wish in return? Mm, me dust wish for, like, peace on Earth and stuff? And a player to be named later. Thou seeks nothing in return for thy service? Turn... Yes! Please, return when finished. Vamp till ready. Find the fiend. Could it be that a kindred doth provide help for no gain? Oh, well, he is completely nuts. Let us go. See you later, Devnal. Derf. Hurry, hurry. Gotta take the quarter. Give no quarter, get no quarter. Fiscal years bring rains of tears. Oh dear. So cry, my Harlequin saint, as you visit the low Sierras of the police sewers to whisper my gremlin into the curves of FBI CC line number 204. <laughs> These are great, but do you have anything bigger? Okay. You want to see the special stock, huh? Modified these myself. Phosphorus round, auto-loading, the works. It's a beautiful thing. I get your kind in here sometimes. Mostly those mobster bloodsuckers. Hey, I don't give a damn what you are. Believe me, I've seen worse in my day. Greetings to the shop owner. I am Kristoff. Hello, gorgeous. I hope you see something you want. We wish to see thy wares. I'll bet you do. I wouldn't mind to look at your wares, too. We've got a full line of magic supplies, from ancient relics to new age objects. Ha! Old Kristoff is an ancient relic. So perhaps I require knowledge of thy new age. Anything you want, but I don't know what your friend is talking about. You don't look a day over 300, and you look damn good. As do thy items and oddments. We would know thy prices. Okay, if that's all you want. Here's what I got. Are you sure you have to go so soon? Well, take care of yourself. Lovely places you take me to, Chris. Ugh, that smell. Oh, does it offend your widow Toriador nose? 
tough bruiser don't even notice it. I bet Sammy's right at home here, in the garbage. It has a certain honest charm. At least this garbage doesn't pretend it's a tough bruiser. <laughs> Oi! I got my eye on you, hemorrhoid face. Dev Knoll's right. I've been wanting some albino alligator skin boots. <laughs> yeah. And I thought Sammy was a pus face. You should have stayed above in your bright world of pretty colors. But you had to defile my lair with your pretty little faces. And your unspoiled voices. Hey! Who are you calling pretty? Ah, Samuel. You belong down here with us. When we crush your new coterie, we will make you one of us. Give Samuel to us, and I'll let the rest of you leave. <laughs> Great. Take him, please. Never. He's one of us. Pink, I no longer owe you a life boon. I just paid you in full. What? You never. How would you pay me? By not tearing out your tiny heart a second ago. Silence! We shall bury you all under a ton of sewage. Hands and feet tied. And <laughs> make you eat your way out. We have no need of war with thee. We merely wish to pass through. Oh, there's all the need of war. All the need of the world. Your very smiles war with my bleak and hateful haven. I will teach you. That you will know the misery in my heart. That is all you will know. And you rot in my sewers for all time. <laughs> Here it is, FBI CC line number 204. I hope Devnell's picking up this data. Bad path. Pathetic weed can't even pick up what day it is. He's completely marbles and conkers. Well, I sure ain't picking up HBO. <laughs> I guess I'll have to stick to my dancing hamster videos. They've changed my life. Or what's left of it. After the Y2 A or not to kill the woozle. Kill the woozle! To save your aunties, let's sleep again his lie. They've been lying to you for a long, long time ago. I can still remember how little <laughs> We're risking our lives here, and he's deliberately wasting our time. Come, let us see if the Malkavian has unearthed hidden wisdom. You pathetic, trusting git. I bid you greetings again, Amelia. Kristoff, oh, wonderful to see you again. How oh, exciting. Help yourself to anything you want. Hey, hey, check this out. Ain't these the most beautiful things you ever hey, seen? Hey, take her easy. Hey, Dev Null, have you got it? I am not Dev Null. I'm a stalking panther closing in on my prey. A stalking badger. Now then, uh, give me a bit more omnipower. Yes, uh, open up the anomaly couplings. Uh, add a pinch of witch hazel. Poof! Some ammonia D for flavor. Uh, 
Dev? Hey, come back to real life. Real life? The life of Rhea? I loathe real life. Whatever that is, I sacrificed real life on the altar of my altered state. Or did I sacrifice the life of Rhea? Or was that her sister? Or her cousin? I forget. I'm gonna kill him. All that for nothing? It was just a stupid prank. I'm gonna tear his sodden head off. You'll have to go through me first, you 80s fashion victim. Oh, Devno, wilt thou give unto us the codes from the FBI central computer? Okay, it's BV72, well, here, I'll just print it out. I thank thee, worthy Malkavian. I am in thy debt. I'm not. We don't know if these codes work on the Giovanni warehouse. That nutter could be sending us right into a trap. Speaking of traps, I also emailed Bill for a pink and fluffy surprise. To eat your words. What? Oi! What, what do you mean, trap? What surprise? Let's see. Uh, where was I? Cashmere weather data merged with um, the Library of Alexandria. Uh, I added a visit from gods, horses, and drew in amethyst from a seely court. Speak sense. No one pulls my beard and lives. Say what? Ugh, I hate Malkavians. I don't know. I think he's charming. In a paradoxical kind of way. This better not be a trap, or I'll split your cracked head open, you damn bedlamite. Oh my, uh, that's a big job. I'm already dazed and kefeared. I thank thee for thy service, noble lunatic. Let us be off. Fare thee well, Devno. Huh? Hello, Dev's not here right now. Leave a message after the beep. Beep, beep, beep. Ding. Oh, my grits are done. The mad Malkavian was true to his word. Which word? None of them made any sense. Oh, look at all these packs of smack. This must supply half of New York. Or one Hollywood party. What is this smack? I'm not sure how to explain it to someone born before Europe even had tobacco. Just think of it as poison. It's what the juice bags put in their blood when they want to feel powerful as a canine. Then truly it is the stuff of damnation. You're bad for business. We're bad for your health. I despise messiness. A prolonged firefight would not prove cost effective. Come. Let us deal. Deal? With a Giovanni? Huh! Why don't we just cut our heads off for you? Because you're smarter than that. That's true. Well, maybe not pink. You require an arrangement. Hi. Where is Vukadlak? I don't know any such person. Where dost thou send the caskets of Earth? We simply unload them and leave them on the docks. Our client wishes to preserve his anonymity. And now that I have helped you enough, perhaps you could leave me to tidy this mess. I thank thee. We shall go now. Glad you're reasonable. Goodbye. No. This one's mine. <laughs> I sure do love Italian. Thy attack was most premature, Pink. Mayhap there was more the thief could tell us of Orsi. Orsi's got nothing to do with this. Trust me. Trust you? I'd sooner trust the Sabbat. Why didst thou attack him, Pink? Because Pink is a liar and an assassin. Wilhelm, God hath blessed me with thy return. Christoph, you can't trust Pink. He's an assassin from Clan Asamite, and he's working for Vukadlak. He's here to murder you as soon as you are no longer useful to him. He just wants you to kill his Satite and Giovanni enemies. What? That's a damned lie! Makes a lot of sense. Dev Null contacted me and told me that the Asamite had gained your trust. He tried to warn you, but you didn't understand him. No one understands him! He's insane! And Kristoff? 
You're as insane as he is if you believe the Sabbat freak's lies. Oh, yes. He's Sabbat. He's too busy lying about old Pete to tell you that, huh? It's the truth. Art thou now Sabbat? Yes, it's true, Christoph. I had no choice. The mighty cosmos fell during the great battle in Prague, and we became too weak to attain our Promethean goals. We needed new allies, but we refused to join the Ventru and their Tremere and their Masquerade, their Camarilla. Ekaterina is an Archbishop of the Sabbat now, but she fights against the Sabbat who serve Vukudlak. Yes, I am Sabbat, but Pink is no Bruja. Abdul Al-Hasim, Master Disciple of the Asamites at your service. You must admit, I affected the idiotic Bruja aesthetic with flawless perfection. But now, I must take my leave of you, Christoph. My Takya is finished. The Sumitsi charged me with preventing you from finding exalted Master Vukadlak before he arises. Alas, they did not specify that I had to put my knife into your heart. So, I let you kill my Setite enemies. And taking out that greasy Giovanni boss put the icing on the cake. Despite my best efforts, you came perilously close to finding Vukadlak. But now I have wasted so much of your time that you cannot possibly reach him before he arises, even if you knew where to look. Oh, and Kristoff. Sorry I did not help you out of the kindness of my heart. But no sane vampire is that stupid. Farewell. Enjoy the new year. And the new age. Damn! I wish I could have killed Pink for you. Sorry, Kristoff. This is not a time for sorrow, but for rejoicing. I am grateful for the return of my trusted friend, Wilhelm. Wilhelm, my allies are Lily and Samuel. Good to meet you. Forgive me, Wilhelm. I should never have doubted thee. I thank thee for thy timely intervention. Thank Devnal, the little bastard seemed to know everything about everything in this town. He tried to tell you, but... Well, he's not always very clear. The email he sent to Katerina was nearly unintelligible, but... We knew that pissed off Kristoff had to be you. Where is Ekaterina? I must thank my mistress for sending me, and for her timely summons. She didst wake me from my torpor in time to save me from the Society of Leopold. Summons? Ekaterina sent no summons. I suppose she has the power to wake you, but... She gave you up for dead a long time ago. Then who? I couldn't say. Will you help us, Wilhelm? Gladly. Ekaterina has directed me to work with you in finding and destroying Vukudlak. Why does she contend against your fellow Sabbat lord? Ekaterina would like to stop the Antediluvians, but if Vukudlak succeeds in rising with the power to consume them, he will become the most powerful being on Earth. He is too unstable to wield that kind of power. It would doom kindred and mortals alike. How horrible. The time for the Fiend's reawakening is approaching, on New Year's Eve. The Tsimitsi Golden Spell will be broken, and he will arise from Torpor. The Prometheans have been preparing for this time. Most of the last millennia has been spent trying to find and destroy him before this could occur. Of course, the Camarilla has taken much of our attention since then. Wilhelm, thou told me of thy passion for the road of Humanitas. How couldst thou join wicked creatures like the Sabbat? A lot can happen in 800 years. In a way, you were lucky. Lucky to be spared what I have seen, what I have done, what I had to do. There's very little humanity left in me. Then come, let us redeem thy humanity with our good works. Let us put the lie to the assassin and prevent the rise of Vukudlak. Then may we cry out to the reverberate hills that we have reclaimed our lost humanity. Yes. Business. Prague shipment submit. Delivered to RC International. Profit? 2300%. Note the sales team. Try to get more of this week. You should see RC's townhouse, the Barclays South. Great place. 
and shows he has a lot more liquid assets for us to tap. George Thorne is no longer here. A lot of blood, though. Did he escape? Or... No time for wondering. Let's go. Go ahead, take the elevator to the top floor. It's the penthouse. It's open and real clean. I don't even think the guy ever lived there. And I mean that. I'm not just trying to sell you the place. I am eager to see Orsi again. I have a gift for him. We seek Orsi. I did business with him long ago, and I owe him a debt. Yeah, then you're about two days too late. He sold the place to me for a song and moved out. Hey, I'm Fred Varney. I'm in real estate. I'm looking for a buyer for the place. Beautiful townhouse, the Barclay South. Moved out? Yeah, he said he'd own the world after New Year's and didn't need just one home. Hey, you going to his party? What party? Oh, sure. Act like you don't know it's New Year's. Come on, you can't fool me. That's why you're dressed up. What means thou? Oh, well, he's on to us, Kristoff. No point in pretending we don't know about Orsi's party. Ah, I see. Yes, his party. Where is it? No idea. You think I got invited? This is for his highbrow friends, from the old country. You know, with Euro trash accents. Well, like yours. No fair. None taken. Oh, we... lost our invitations. Where is it? No idea. Wish I could help. Can't help. Gotta go. Wait. Got no time. Unless you want to buy Orsi's townhouse. Let her see it. <gasps> what? It's her palette. Her painter's palette. Alexandra Ruffin, my sire. No, I swear it. This palette is covered with blood. She paints with her own blood. Maybe an artist got mugged. No, I'd recognize her style anywhere. The way she mixes clotted blood is utterly unique. The blood is fresh. She may be nearby. Come. Don't kill me. I'm almost done. I, I didn't mean to be late, but I'm so weak. We shall not kill thee. Oh. I, I just need a little more time. And please, more blood. I beg of you, a rat, a little mouse, anything. Alexandra, it's me, Lily. Lily? They've taken you too. Oh, I'd hoped you had escaped. Who hath done this injustice unto you? What? Who imprisoned you here? Your master, Count Orsi. Dry thy crimson tears. We do not serve Orsi. We seek his factory, and we crave his death. I don't know where his factory is. Only that they're coming to take this portrait there for his private New Year's Eve party tonight. I have to finish. If I don't, they'll kill me. No one will kill you. We'll protect you to the end. The end. The end comes soon. Oh, Lily. How sweet to see you again. And how bitter to find you, only to lose you again. But... we can be together forever. No. No, there is no forever. He's returning. We have to get out of New York. Out of America. There's no place far enough we can run. Peace, woman. What dost thou mean? For good luck. The Tsumitsu demon they made me paint. They resurrect him this night. Then he rises in time to die. Heads up. We've got company. All right. You better be finished, and it better be brilliant. No. It is you who are finished. And that will be brilliant. The address of Orsi's factory. Let us go. My thanks to you, Kristoff. Lily tells me you are a great kindred. We are well pleased with her as well. I'd love to paint you. You have a very noble brow. I owe you everything for saving me. Good luck on your mission. May I go with them, Alexandra? Lily, my lovely thrall. It grieves me to let you go so soon after finding you again. But Orsi must die to free you from your bondage. Go, with my blessings. 
And give Orsi my regards when you crush him like the toad he is. Thank you. Farewell till we meet again, Alexandra. Please hurry. Orsi wants to resurrect Vukadlak tonight, the demon that Orsi made me paint. Hey, where's those guys with the painting? Yeah, where are they? Maybe they got stuck in traffic. They better hurry up. It's almost V-Day. Yeah, V-Day. About time you mooks got here with that painting. Yeah, it's almost V-Day. Tonight, we build a great silver statue in his honor. And into it we shall place the power of the most ancient blood. By this ritual, shall we rule? So, it is you. We haven't forgotten your deeds in Vienna, Orsi. Bless my soul. The Bruja. Could it be? A Katarina's broom? How extraordinary! Wilhelm, and what was your name again, lad? Mark my name well, Orsi. For the devil will wish to know who delivered thee unto his cheerless realm. Tell the devil thou wert dispatched from Earth by Christoph Rum. Christoph Romul, whose soul he shall never possess as long as there is hope beyond all hope in this world. Well, I remember you now, Crusader. You eliminated some competition for me in the old days. That tedious, sombre judgment. <laughs> I remember as if it was yesterday. You escaped my dungeon, you naughty boys. <laughs> we apologize for not killing you then. We'll make up for it today. With a gallon of blood for every drop you've spilled from Alexandra. Ooh, your hate is so delicious. My children. I'll make up for it in a far more valuable treasure than my humble blood. This is a new era, full of opportunities we could only begin to imagine in the Dark Ages. Then, I thought power came from the church. That's why I had you kill Luther Black. Then times changed, and power grew from the Temporal government, but do you know where power really comes from? Huh? You bore me, businessman. Everyone knows that corporations rule today. Wrong! <laughs> All mortal power is fleeting. A new age is about to begin. An age where we kindred are restored to rulership of the world, an age undreamed of. And it begins now, tonight, at the eve of a new millennium. <laughs> the new millennium doesn't begin for another year. 2001. Oh, hush. We know what we're doing. Just think, Crystal. An eternity of perfect power, with no antediluvians to keep us in check. Hmm? So, thou art in league with the Fiend. Where is Vukodlak? Oh, you are so judgmental. Vukodlak acts on our behalf. If he does not, your antediluvian grandsire will rise up and drag you into the grave. But Vukadlak can pull them up first and feed upon them. And who will stop him then? Stop him? He'll share power with you. He'll restore our rightful heritage as the true gods of the earth. I can get you a place at the table with him. 
Your old friend has joined in willingly, and you can too. What was her name? The little nun? Aneska. That was it. No. Where is Vukovac? That we cannot tell you. We shall find the fiend without your help. Thou hast earned my pity, as thy sire has earned my wrath. Wait, Crusader. The fiend is below the blackened church to the north. There you'll find him, below in his cathedral of flesh. Little good this will do you now as he arises in but a few moments. Hurry, the fiend awakens. thy fall now as I did then. Ah, but then was I not yet arisen. Your untimely intervention set me back nearly a millennium. But I am nothing if not patience. And now I am omnipotent. Nay, for we have denied the Orsi statue for thy ritual. I'll live. We shall stop thee. It's over, Crystal. I have already risen, with power enough to consume even antediluvians! No! But I must extend my gratitude to you, Christoph. My former vessel, the Bosa, lacked a certain... purity. But Ineska... Ah... Her virtue bubbles up from so rich a spring that I have been endlessly supplied with purity. To defile. <laughs> I would never have found her without your assistance. You sent her to me, and she has been so loyal and willing a servant to me over these long years. I shall now embrace her, and she will rule with me over the cattle of humanity for all time. Nay! Aneska is not thine! She serves thee not! She sent a summons to awaken me from torpor! Is this true, Aneska? Dear Master, please allow me to split Kristoff's joints and fleshcraft his bones into a throne for thy glory! <laughs> Monster! I'll destroy thee! I have a better idea. Serve me. I know thou art wicked, but I never thought thee a fool. Serve me. You don't really have any love for the Antediluvians, do you? The day of Gehenna is coming, and they intend to consume you, and Wilhelm, and Lily, and all other vampires. I will prevent that. I will give you eternity, life everlasting. We will greet the awakening grandsires with another flood, a deluge of their own blood! One antediluvian is no better than thirteen. I cannot entrust such power unto any, let alone thee. Then suppose I gave you 
your beloved Ineska as well. What? Consider this. Even if you could destroy me, which you cannot, you would destroy her as well. Remember, she is my ghoul, and after all these centuries, she is utterly dependent on my blood. If I die, she shatters into thousand-year-old dust. But serve me, and I'll give her to you. What say you? Nay, I shall fight thee to stop thy mad scheme, even at the cost of my life. You have no hope of winning. I have hope beyond hope. Yeah, you waste my time. I have no more patience for you. Your skin and bones will add to the walls of my cathedral of flesh. I am damned. In the holy orders I once dreamed of the eternity of bliss that would be mine for my devotion to the Lord. Eternity is now mine, but not bliss. I shall live as long as a voivod, or as long as a voivod is pleased with me, or as long as a voivod is pleased to defile me. Heavenly bliss is not to be my lot, only empty torment. Yet still I dare to hope, still I live. Oh. Aneska. I have lived for fifty years. All I loved are dead and gone. My beloved Kristoff has perished in the fall of Visserod. His sacrifice has preserved innocence in the world, and so I rejoice. But my suffering grows with each passing night. The Voyevod takes great delight in seeing me rise with fresh hope for it means he may once again drag me down. Should I surrender all hope and break as the Busa is broken, his pleasure would be at an end. Yet I will not abandon my hope, even though such hope fills his empty heart with glee, as it fills mine with pain. I cannot bear it. For more than 200 years, I have suffered every possible form of humiliation and defilement. I have fallen from the chaste and inviolate woman I once was, yet I have borne it all with hope in my heart. But now, I am sinking into the murky depths, and the last whisper of hope in me is fading like the final bubbles of breath from a drowning woman. As we grow close to the day of his resurrection, Vukadlak has found the only defilement I cannot bear. He has decreed that I inflict defilement on others by binding innocent men and women into the walls of his accursed cathedral of flesh. His power compels me, and I cannot resist a direct command. I can endure my own degradation, but I cannot abide to befoul others. I fear I shall shatter like glass. My poor, poor Aneska. This is my doing. Every humiliation she suffers is on my head. Kristoff, you can't blame yourself for the choices she made. Silence. It is two centuries and a half after Vukudlok took me and his resurrection draws nigh. He now demands that I surrender the final shreds of my honor and perform evil acts of my own volition. I cannot defy my master's command that I defile others, and when I resist him, my poor body carries out his tasks against my will, like a puppet. He's driving me mad. So I must change. Rather than resist the evil I am compelled to do, I now embrace it and perform my tasks with zeal. The Master favors me, and as I embrace his evil, he gives me greater power. I have been Lebusa's equal since my arrival, 
Now shall I take over her duties, gladly trading the final measure of my innocence for control over the Voivod's worldly affairs. Tis the only way. <gasps> oh no! She gave up! I'm so sorry, Kristoff. Kristoff, are you okay? I mourn for her soul. I have now lived more than 300 years past my natural lifespan. I have committed atrocities beyond all imagining, but my plan has succeeded. Though Vukodlak has extraordinary power, his exile from the world makes him weak. He must act through Labusa, who wields great power within our haven. But in just a few years I have usurped all of Labusa's power and left her a wretched outcast in the Cathedral of Flesh she helped build. Long ago, the Voyevod stripped her of her soul and gave her power in exchange. Now that I have taken away that power, she is a pitiable creature indeed. She has no place here, yet she cannot leave. I would lament her fate, but I have no tears to shed, even for myself. For Resurrection Day draws nigh. Ugh, that gives me the creeps. This is supposed to be the purest woman in the world? Uh, Lily, I think you should really zip it. I'm only trying to help Kristoff get over... Zip it! <sighs> You're right. Kristoff, I'm so sorry. You must be feeling awful. I wish I could... My feelings be damned. Tonight, we slaughter every denizen of this foul place, or die in the attempt. On the eve of his resurrection, Vukodlak bade us slaughter the Premisel leaders, even as they began the ritual that would raise him from torpor. I have learned well the lessons of corruption, for I have turned my hand to the corruption of the Voyevod's resurrection. In the guise of offering wise counsel to Vukodlak, I poison his heart against those who could speed his resurrection. I accuse the faithful of disloyalty. I accuse the powerful of dangerous ambition. I praise the weak and ineffectual, like the merchant Toad Orsi, as obedient servants. Vukodlak's fear of losing power is far greater than his hope of gaining new power, and so he believes every doubt I whisper in his ear. And so he crushed his own resurrection. Wow. She sacrificed her innocence to stop Vukodlak. Vukodlak's rage is implacable. His resurrection has failed so often that he blames all the Semitsi of Europe. He desires to move our entire Cathedral of Flesh to the New World where we may begin again. This vast undertaking will involve many shipments of native soil. I am well pleased for this foolish migration shall take at least a century and further postpone his resurrection. Alas, I fear I can no longer prevent the Voivod's awakening. Lord Vukodlak has gained great power from the fear and apprehension afoot in the world on the eve of the new millennium. These fears feed him, and despite my greatest efforts, his resurrection is now inescapable. There are none who can help me. I can only hope against hope for the return of the one man Vukodlak fears. I pray that God restores Kristoff. Come with me quickly! I can help you! Why should I enter thy trap, servant of the fiend? Please, for Aneska! She says that if you would have hope even when your cause is lost, you should follow me! I go, but I go with my sword at thy back. Go now, there is little time. Destroy him, and topple this vile cathedral! Now, 
my dark love. I give you thanks for allowing me to serve you all these years, watching over your sweetly cruel visage in Tortor. My defilement is complete. You survived my hosts. Impressive, your crusade. You have earned something few have seen. Your final vision shall be that of my true form. Watch as I reveal the absolute power of the Vibon! to her, Kristoff. Now that the Fiend is no more, my unnatural power dissolves. I fear for my soul after my defilement, after all that I have done. But I rejoice that my last sight shall be thee. I only pray that one day I may attain thy forgiveness. I grant all forgiveness, though thou art blameless and pure in mine eyes. Then death finds me in joy and rapture. Aneska, my accursed soul trembles to utter these selfish, blasphemous words. But thou need not die if thou wouldst endure. Thou wouldst still have me, Kristoff. I scarcely dared hope. My love has redeemed me across a thousand years. I would that I could offer salvation in return, but I have none to give, only damnation. Damnation with thee would be sweet as salvation. Let thy love cast me down and raise me up forever. Take me.
hope you enjoyed this video. Check out this and many more on austroberto.blogspot.com. Thank you.